You haven't got no money. You're brokey. You're brokey. You're brokey. You're brokey. OMG, baby. What's good? Welcome back, goody gang. If you are a returning subscriber, then you know I F's you heavy. And if you've never seen my face before, then where you been? Ho, oh, like what we're we talking about. Anyway, <laughs> it's me, Lani. I'm back. I'm back. Like I literally dropped a video this week. Talk about consistency. Can we give me a round of applause for consistency? Yes. Yes. Okay, so. I told you lot I was gonna do a story time like another story time so yeah I'm gonna do a story time I was meant to do uh, another video this week but it flopped but whatever we keep we keep on pushing so yeah I'm gonna do a story time for all of you and this story time in my opinion is a bit funnier than the other one because I think it's a bit more crazy than the other one I told you lot about okay so before we get into the story time I'm gonna start it in literally like 30 seconds um i just want to thank everybody who's like supporting me everybody who's like like just back like and enjoying the consistency and also i just hope you guys support me often on this platform um my music video is going to drop when um the blood clot platform that i did something for this year earlier in march drops my ting that's when it will drop this is out of my control anyway moving on <laughs> Anyway, moving on, guys. So I'm going to tell you the story time, right? And it happened during the pandemic. And I was ashamed about it. But, you know, we move. You have to learn from your experiences. So I'm going to just keep it a buck with you, yeah? I was talking... So, okay. So uh, this is about somebody who is, like, basically... Interrupting this video, just to make a quick announcement. Like, if anybody is, like, thinking, like, my skin is seven different colours, it's not my fault okay i got really burnt badly okay in south africa i came back a month ago and my body hasn't gone back to normal and sometimes i am seven different colors like a panda um and it's not that deep you know i got i i did this like in five minutes like my did a bit of makeup in five minutes can we not judge me can we just move on and enjoy the story thank you very much okay goodbye <laughs> like eight years younger than me like basically really really young so if you want you can call me a cougar and if you're mad about it then be mad about it be mad about it be mad about it you can be as mad as you want to be you can argue with yourself if you if you, if you want me to be honest you can argue with yourself you can i'll be real with you because i'm not gonna argue with you I, I ain't finna argue with you so you can call me a cougar you can call me an old lady you can call me whatever the f you want i, I really don't give a f so yeah we're gonna stop the story so um, it was a pandemic, and mm, it was after Bad Boy piece of information. I was getting bare DMs. I got a DM from this um, young ting. He was really young, so he was like, I would say, twenty three. Really cute, um, but he didn't he didn't approach me on like a moving to meeting. He approached me on like a. Um, he, he approached me on like a music thing like oh i can help you with your hooks or like just like in general like I, i'm just like i think i'm good at music i can help you i feel like i can take you from a i don't know let's just say like i'm a c i can take you from a c to an a period so um i was like say no more Sh like show me write me a hook like if someone says they're gonna um help you with music the proof is in the pudding yo so write me a hook so that's what i said so anyway um i swear to god like within like an hour maximum i had a hook like this is all obviously on the dms i had a hook mess like sent to me cool so it was actually decent it was obviously like a, a hip-hop rapping type of hook so it was actually decent i was like this is actually kind of fire still i'm not gonna lie so i was just like okay cool maybe we can go studio and we can work together and we can we can like write together and stuff and we can like pattern something so they were like yeah like that sounds dope let's do that so i was like yeah cool so it um initially they were like oh before we do that do you want to like do you want to um have a like do you want to have like a call like do you want to have like a facetime call or like a meeting over the phone so we can like just like so I can kind of gauge like what your personality is like so you know like 
you know, when I come, like, I know, like, you know, you know, like, the direction, like, the, the music's gonna go in type of thing, innit? So I was like, oh, so you wanna call me on the phone? And they were like, yeah, 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 let me just call you on the phone, quick chat. I just wanna get to know you for music. For music. That was cap. That was cap. It wasn't for the music. So, anyway, I'm talking to my man. I'm gonna call him... We're gonna call him Car Crash, because that's what he did. So we're gonna call him Car Crash. So, yeah, so he's like, um... Yeah, let, he's like basically yeah let's let's chop it up so bring he calls me literally like five minutes after i give him my number and we're talking about music and we're bantering about life and we literally on the phone for like three hours period like it was such a funny conversation and um he, I, I obviously realized in this conversation that he's a super funny funny person super funny and i love funny people i love funny people so we're vibing and stuff and it's like cool um, but we're not just talking about music um, but I didn't deep it too much at that point. Anyway, as like the days go by, as the weeks go by, um, he keeps calling me. You know what I mean? He keeps calling me, like just see how I am, texting me like, well, "What's up, m beautiful?" Like chatting to me, and like this is a young thing, so I'm thinking like, like are you trying to put it on me? Like you're actually like, you're actually like, I don't freaking know, man. <laughs> what maybe like seven years younger than me, or six? Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and do maths, but you're you're, you're younger than me. So he's like, yeah, like, you know, like, I like your vibe, I just want to talk to you and stuff, innit? Well, you know, it's, it's, there's there's nothing, like, nothing, don't read into it, la la la. So we're just vibing, we're talking, everything's great, everything, everything's cushed. Anyway, one day, um, okay, so I want to paint a picture. We used to talk almost, we used to talk almost four to five times a day because these times in the pandemic i'm working from home so i'm work like i'm literally doing my nine to five so like sometimes like because you guys know i do an artistic job so whilst i'm doing my like a little artwork i'm designing something i can like have the phone on loudspeaker it doesn't take away from my creativity some to people it does but for me i can like my creativity comes from my body it doesn't actually come from my mind it's like a natural thing for my body like i can't explain it i don't even think i just i just it's, it's just so natural to me so um i can have a conversation and it's just like my body is 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 it's just doing its own thing if you know what i mean so um like th this um car crash was calling me all the time like literally almost like four or five times a day one time i even counted seven calls bro it was a sunday so it wasn't uh i wasn't working that day but seven calls bro seven calls one sunday seven calls do you know what i mean like and that's when i realized yo like is this business though is this friendship is this really business because you call me you've called me seven times today that's a lot so anyway like i know i'm fantastic and you know what i mean i know i'm funny but like you literally can't get enough of lani you know <laughs> you can't get enough of me you can't get enough of me per per period so anyway cut long story short we eventually he um he eventually says um so basically we're meant to go studio but with my management the way the music thing works is very specific so we don't just go studio every weekend oh, sorry 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 we like plan stuff so during this period i don't have a plan to go studio anytime soon i'm not saying i won't go studio but i don't have a plan to go studio in the next three days or in the next week so i might go be going studio next month in it so and in addition to all of that i'm sitting on a hell of a lot of tunes i'm trying to figure out whether i want to release them or whether i want to do videos to them whether i want to release an ep so i'm just sitting on some music so like i'm still figuring stuff out so i don't really know when i'm gonna go studio with my man calm that's not an issue so anyway my man's like um I want to see you i'm like i'm not going to see you till we go to studio and obviously i don't know when that's going to be and i want to see you so can we like arrange something so remember this person's young so like immediately i'm thinking hmm does this person have a crush on me number one and if they do like they're actually a baby so like i'm gonna have to be a sugar mom let's be honest because this baby can't do anything for me let's let's be honest this this person can't do anything for me and really i shouldn't even be entertaining this but i thought you know what 
this is what I thought to myself. Do you know what? What harm is it in having a bit of attention? Like, like this doesn't have to go full-fledged into like a relationship. We don't have to be on or anything, but like, you know what I mean? At this point, I like talking to the person. I care for them. And I think to a certain degree, the person cared for me. So I'm thinking, oh, what's the harm in having like a little, you know, like a little, um, a little cute, like, sort of friendship do you know what i mean a little flirt but nothing too serious nothing wrong with it so one day i go out i go to see my friend and this person happens to be in east london and i'm in east london and i say do you know what i'm gonna pull up and we can talk in the car whatever so i pulled up now they get in the car we talk for a bit with vibes we laugh it's great it's vibes beautiful in person beautiful face in person gorgeous do you know what i'm saying period so at this point this 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 um um car crash is like my little like this is gonna sound weird but he's like my little brother slash little cousin like slash like a little homie that i fancy like um and he's like just like my little friend like it's it's not that deep you know we're just my little friend whatever cool anyway cut a long story short um I, obviously I see car crash that one time and then I think we meet up another time and, and I think in total we probably met up mm, okay we, we met up quite a few times because they ended up having I ended up finding out that they had family in North London so like Tottenham and stuff so every time they would come um and uh, sorry every time they'll come North London I would buck them and we would go we'll just go drive through we'll just chill we, we were literally like friends I can't explain it we were literally friends that flirted but nothing more guys nothing more okay period nothing more so it wasn't it we it, it never crossed that line it was just a flirt so how do i get into a situation where my car is crashed so anyway you have to understand that this my little my little new bestie is always telling me about their their life their problems do you know what I'm trying to say? Always opening up to me about the problems. Never fall for that ish. Never fall for that ish. Always telling me about their problems and everything that's going on in their life. Okay? So, one day, my little, my little car crash has bought himself a whip. By the way, just passed his driving test. I'm um, driving test. Just passed his driving test. Bought himself a whip. Okay? And says, oh my god, Lani, I want to show you my new whip. You'll be proud of me, this, that, and the third, yeah? Now, at this point, it's, it's like, I think this is three months in. Get me? Three months in. So, he pulls up. It's like a little Peugeot. Pulls up, takes me for a little spin. Everything's cushy, yeah? Nice, lovely. So, I'm, like, proud of my little, my little baby. I really don't know how to um, address this person because this was a very weird relationship. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of on the same level of having a work husband do you know them kind of relationships kind of on the same level but I, I think like deeper in the sense that i care about this person on a real level this person's open up to me about their life you know so go for a spin everything's cushy i'm proud of my babes i swear to god not like not even a week later not even a week later they call me and they basically say that the car they bought um and okay so i want to paint a picture before they got this car they had been telling me that like they're saving up they have all these goals they have it they have a bucket list of things they want to do um how they feel like a waste man because some of their brethren have this and that and they really want to do a b and c so the when they got the car it was like a really big ac accomplishment because it's like oh my god i'm so proud of you you actually like tick something off your list you get it like i'm proud of you yes baby yes so i'm proud of my little my, my little babes no more than a week later they ring me like literally crying on the phone literally crying tears on the phone because they're telling me that the car they were sold is dodgy um they knew it was too good to be true so then i'm asking when you say it's too good to be true how much did you get the car for and then they said like the car market value is worth like 3k roughly but i got it for I got it for one grand. I got it for one grand. I always knew it was too good to be true. So now, best stuff's gone um, dodgy with it, and I've taken it to like the, the 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 I've taken it to the garage, and they basically told me it's a luck off. Like the car you got is busted. Like you basically just got swindled. So I'm like, take the car back to the dealer. 
My man's telling me I can't take the car back to the dealer because I got it off some uncle. Can you imagine? Take it back to the uncle, bro. I don't know how, how to, like, I've been trying to get in, um, in contact with his uncle. He's not picking up his phone. Like, so basically, like, he was just painting a picture. Like, I got swindled, Lani. Like, Lani, I got swindled. Like, crying on the phone. Tears, bro. Tears. So cool. Let's get into the interesting, juicy part of the, the story. The main, you're here for the, let's get into the cocker of the matter. How I am involved in this nonsense. So, Obviously, cool, I hear this, yeah? The person ain't got the car no more, my baby's is, is upset, my baby's is broke, my, bro my baby's is broken, he got swindled. Now, I would say no more than a few days later, he rings me, pring, pring. I'm like, yo, what's up? He rings me now and he's like, babes, yo babes, yo babes. Listen, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I need a favor. Never! Never entertain babes. I need a, I need a, I need a favor. Never entertain that shh. Never entertain that shh. What do you mean you need a favor? Call your mum. Call your mum. But you need a favor. Am I your mum? Oh, I don't know. Technically, I was a cougar, so I guess you call me mummy. You call me mummy, baby. Yeah, I'll be your mummy. Yeah. So anyway, so it's like your babes. I need a favor. So I'm like, what's the favor? I'm not gonna lie. Give me the certain things I had I had planned. Give me on Saturday to do with my birthday. Does this keep going out of focus? It looks okay. So he just basically like your babes, like I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. There's certain things man had planned for his birthday. Get me. They certain things man needs um, with the car, with, with my car. They certain like basically, he was throwing a party. He was having a barbecue. It was a big deal. He's telling me he's depressed. He's so he's so down. He's so depressed, and he doesn't think like he can have his party or plan this whole charade if he hasn't got a whip. How's he gonna get from point A to point B, to point C, to point F, to point G, to point L, to point C, to point E? Like, how's he gonna do all of this? Like, he needs to pattern the party, he needs to make sure he goes to the apartment, he needs to do this, he needs to do that, he can't do that without a whip. So he's just like, you're the only person that I know who um, cares about me enough to let me boil the whip. I'm thinking, you must be crazy. You must be crazy, my baby! My baby! You must be crazy. You must be crazy. So, anyway, cut a long story short. Cut a long story short. Um, every day begging me. Every day begging me. Your babes, your babes. Like, I'm man's depressed, you know. Man's depressed, you know. Man's depressed, you know. Like, what's man gonna do? Like, man's man has like man's not even gonna celebrate that birthday. Man's car, like, man just got swindled for a whip. Man, and man's birthday's coming up. Babes, please, you're the only person that's got me. Anyway, cool. Cut a long story short, cut a long story short, because I'm a dickhead, yeah? I, I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm a dickhead, but I'm not that much of one where I'm thinking, like, I'm, I'm gonna give this guy my whip. My car, when I got it, I, I, I got my car, okay, my car is worth 25, about 25 grand. That's how much my car is worth. Um, yeah, I'm not letting you crash that, okay. So I'm not letting you have that, I'm not letting you steal that. You're not having my car. We're not doing that. We're not putting at risk. Now, in my household, and when I mean my household, I don't mean my sister, I don't mean my mum and dad, because my mum and dad don't live in the UK. I mean my sisters. We have a car that um we like all share. All of us. It's like our it's not okay, I don't want to call it a runaround. But it's basically a run around like it's not like my mercedes and sometimes i drive it at the end of the day it's not every day that you have to put mileage on your whip it's not every day that you need your 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 car and also there's three of us we need three cars but this car um me and my sisters basically all bought it together it's our little yeah it's our little run around we do our thing with it cool so i've got so basically in essence i guess i have one and a half cars one and, a, one and a, th a third of a car because like a third of that car belongs to me do you get it so anyway cool so i basically say do you know what i'm not gonna let okay so me and my sister had a third car 
You guys have never seen it that we share. So, I'm like, I'm not going to give you my car. But what I am going to do is I'm going to let you borrow um, a car that is a bit cheaper. Do you know what I mean? So, me and my sisters bought this car for, um, I would say, about six grand, right? I'm going to put a picture of the car up. So, me and my sisters bought this car for about six grand. He was going to borrow my car for 24 hours so he could do all his birthday shenanigans and he was going to bring it back the next day. Now, because he was, um, I wanted to be nice because he was like, I'm going to get you um, the car. I'll bring it to you by like two in the afternoon. And I was like, it's cool. I don't need it about two in the afternoon. But what you can do is you can um, bring it back, bring it back to me around, back around 10 p.m. Cool. So he's like, oh, thank you so much, Lani. I love you. This, that, and the third. I was like, make sure nobody drives that car but you. I don't want your Brendan's driving it because your Brendan's don't know me. They're going to be reckless. Only you can drive the car. Um, obviously, he was like, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I give it back to you with a full tank. Um, like, a lot of you might be thinking, why can't he hire a car? Um, I didn't charge him to hire the car, so he it was cheaper. This boy always, you know, cried that like he's got swindled and he has, like he just wants to enjoy his birthday and he hasn't got that much bread and like I, he just like he he just basically just needs my help. He's a broke, he's a broke ass, he's a broke ass nigga, and I'm the only person that can help him. That's how he made it seem. So I'm like, cool, yeah, you can borrow my this car. Like I said, 24 hours. 10 p.m. on the dot, and I was just like, I don't want it any later. 10 p.m. on the dot, you bring that blood clot. You understand? So um, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Lani. In fact, I'll even bring it at nine. Don't worry. So, um, okay. So let's just say like he's come to get the car on a. Like, I'm working from home, right? So he's come to get the car on a Friday night. Um, it wasn't like mad late. It might have been like not night. Like 7 p.m., he comes to get the car, pick up the car from me, cool. Now, in exchange uh, for him to have the car, I was like, um, I need, um, this is the thing, you know, every time we had linked and bucked, he was out and about doing stuff. I never actually, like, I didn't actually know where this, this, this guy lived, if you get where I'm coming from, because um, he'd never been to my house and I'd never been to his. We just kind of met on the roads, like, if you know what I mean. I know it sounds weird when I say on the roads, but every time I was out and he was out, he'd be like, I'll oh, come meet me and I'll meet him and we'll go get food and stuff like that. If you get what I mean, we'll go for a drive. We had a very, 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 very weird. We just used to hang out, but never indoors, if that makes sense. We used to always hang out outside. So I actually, at this point, I'm thinking, I actually don't know where this boy lives. If he, if he was to take this car and go missing, where would I go? So I asked for his, um, I asked for a picture of his driving license so I could have proof of an address. So if anything happened, I could pull up, yeah? So that's what I asked for. Like, and I'm thinking, at this point, I'm thinking I can trust this guy. But obviously, this is stupid. I shouldn't have been doing this. But I think I can trust this guy. He's like my little baby. Like, he'll never do me dirty. Um, and also, in my head, I'm thinking, there's no risk here. I literally thought, what's the risk here? Like, a stupid ass. Like, I actually thought, there's no risk here. Like, he's just going to drive the car. Like, what's the worst he can do? It's his, actually, it was actually his birthday. So what's the worst he can do? Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. What's the worst you can do? Hey. So, like I said, he takes the car, right, that night. Mind you, his party is that night. Yeah, he comes to pick up at 7 p.m. He told me that oh, everyone's pulling up around 11, midnight. Everyone's going to pull up. He's just going to pick up. So, apparently, like... Everything he needed was at some girl's yard, like some girl that does party planning, everything he needed or whatever. So he was going to um, go pick up a, a few certain bits that she couldn't carry, but she was already at the apartment setting up. But he needed to, like, get a few more bits. And then um, he was going to go to the apartment. His boys were going to come there early. Um, some of his boys were going to jump in the car. Some of the boys that was with him was going to be in the car already. They were going to go together, whatever, whatever. Cool, in it. And then the next day... With him and the mandem we're gonna go have a nice little lunch then they're gonna go to like a local spa and then he said he would return the car to me by 10 p.m yeah you you heard you heard so he's doing like a, a nice little um 
nice little birthday plans like i said these are these are these are um how there's a local house party there is a spa and um there's like a like a lunch yeah and he's gonna be driving this weekend and he's gonna be feeling like a big dog yeah cool everything on that night went absolutely fine so once he gets his apartment and he parks the car he sends me a picture of a car parked like see babes the, the car is cushy it's safe i'm like thank you babes cool anyway and then he's sending me pictures of the apartment everything's good he's sending me videos of his birthday him telling up his friends everything's good and i'm saying make sure you don't drive my car in the state he's like it's cool babes tomorrow get me man's gonna go to bed everything now i went to bed i don't have plans so i think by midnight i was asleep yeah this boy is turning up pre-drinks everything enjoyment i have gone to bed yeah i'm feeling very comfortable with my decision like a dickhead yeah like a dickhead like i'm feeling comfortable like i made i made a really good choice like who can tell me anything you know what i mean you know, this person's proved me that they, they can be trusted. So I'm thinking everything's good. Anyway, cut long story short. The next morning I wake up. I wake up, I feel like, like, life is good. I'm walking around. I'm having a bagel for breakfast. I'm chilling. I'm watching a bit of YouTube. I'm enjoying my life. Yeah? Oblivious to the madness that transpired. Oblivious to the madness that transpired. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All I all I did was I, I WhatsApp this nigga. Yeah? I WhatsApped him. Tell me why there's one tick. Tell me why there's one tick. Not two, one. So I'm thinking this this person's phone must be off. You understand? So at first I'm not really I'm not really stressing. I'm not really stressing. I give about half an hour. Send another message, yo nothing no i don't i'm not hearing anything it's still one tick so i'm thinking nah at this point it's about 11 in the morning so i'm like it's not that early let me ring in it obviously the person must be hung over maybe their phone is off i'm i'm trying to ring the phone it's going to voicemail so i'm thinking am i blocked so i get my sister's phone and i ring them it's going to voicemail i'm thinking what so i start panicking i'm thinking what the actual f is he sleeping? Then I tell my sister. Obviously, my sister bugs out. I literally just tell her I brought a car to someone that's not picking up their phone. She goes, mm. My sister is a very, very chill person. She's very calm. So she always thinks the best. So she's just like, maybe they're asleep. She goes, if it was their birthday last night, it's, 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 it's likely. She goes, when people are really hanging, they can sleep till about two in the afternoon. She goes, give it till two in the afternoon. And she goes, what time do they say they'll bring up back the car? Remember I said um, 10, right? 10. So she said, cool, give it about two to three. Cool. Especially remember he had a lunch. So in my mind, I'm like, you had a lunch. Now, what times would you, remember, I, I haven't asked what time lunch is. What times should we, should we consider lunch? 1 p.m. is lunch. 2 p.m. is lunch. 3 p.m. is lunch. So in my mind, I'm thinking by 3 p.m. By 3 p.m. I would have got a phone call from this guy. I would have got a phone call from this guy. Do you get it? So I'm like, cool. So I put a movie on. I do my stuff and I tell myself, calm the F down, sis. Calm the F down. It's it's fine. You have nothing to worry about. It's fine. Chill out. Chill the F out. It's fine. So one o'clock passes. Two o'clock passes. Three o'clock passes. I haven't got a call back. So at this point, me, let me tell you something. Let me say, and you must, you guys know this about me. Me, yeah, there's a line. At this point, I am sane, yeah? I am sane. When it comes to like panicking, going nuts. At this point, I'm sane. When I go past the line of panic, or the, the line of sanity, bro, I'ma lose it. Like, I lose it. 
yeah? Like, I can't even think straight. My mind is going crazy, 100 miles an hour. I'm thinking 100 thoughts at the same time. And at this point, I might as well go jail. I'm gonna be dead ass serious. I might as well go jail. I have no idea what I'm doing. The consequences are mazaline. You guys have seen me in this day. I absolutely go nuts. You guys have seen me 4K in this state. Online, on Instagram. I can't stop typing. You Do you guys remember the day? when bad boy information dropped and I literally had like 80 stories 80 stories on my man I went mint I, once I get past the line I can't think straight so now I'm texting this guy's phone off ringing I swear to god I rang at least 300 times texting 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 it's like yo 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 and at one point me i don't even text yo's yeah i text letters i'm texting letters do you understand like y f b g just to to, to to get through the phone i'm texting i'm texting i'm texting i'm texting i'm texting i'm going mad i'm texting i'm texting i'm ringing nothing three o'clock passes four o'clock passes five o'clock passes six o'clock passes seven o'clock passes i've heard nada at this point i go on instagram and i'm like nah so obviously um my man um, w um when i bucked my man um i've met a couple of his like people so i think you know what let me um reach out to um his people so i message some of his people on instagram like where's my man where's my man no one's replying because you have to obviously when you message people it goes into requests no one's replying right i'm still reaching out i'm still reaching out now time has passed okay time has passed and the hour that this black boy said that he'll bring back this car it has arrived yeah it has arrived it, it's 10 mother effing p.m. yo and the car still ain't back okay 1001 passes 1002 passes 1003 passes 1004 1005 one half past 10 yo there's no sign of this car 11 p.m. yo there's no sign of this car yeah and now i know i effed up for real like i know i've effed up like sis you have effed up again you keep trusting people People are, people, people are not serious in this life. People are not serious in this life. Why do you keep letting people play with you? Why do you keep letting people play with you? You understand? It's 11 p.m. It's 12 p.m. At this point, we're in the morning. It's 1 a.m. And I've had to go to bed. And I'm in bed and I'm shaking and I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Because where is the whip? Where's the whip? Imagine this person who rings me seven times a day, but today I cannot get through to you. Where is my effing car? I'm fuming. I'm fuming. I'm seeing red. I'm angry. I'm vexed. I'm, I, I literally, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going mental. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. So... I just, I'm just, I'm just tossing and turning, going mad, mad. I'm going crazy. So anyway, cut long story short, morning comes, yeah? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. It's a Sunday. I get in the car, my car, and I decide I'm gonna go for a drive. Where am I going, please? Where am I going? Exactly, you guessed that right. To the address on the driving black club. Mother effing license. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really am. I really am. And that address is in South London. And I really am gonna drive to South London. I really am gonna pull up. Like, what are you talking about? I really am gonna pull up. So. I drive all the way to mother effing South London, okay? All the way to South London. I pull up at the address on the license. Knock on the door on a Sunday. By the time I got there, I swear it was like eight in the morning, yeah? It wasn't even that long. It was like eight in the morning. Like, I must have had a shower. I put some petrol in my car. I get there. It's eight in the morning. 
I knock on the door. Can you imagine eight in the morning? I'm hyperventilating. I'm on the phone to my brother and I'm like, what should I do? What should I do? Should I wait till it's like 10? It's a bit early. And my friend's like, can you wait? And I'm like, I can't wait. I've been waiting all night. Like, I, I literally can't wait. I've been waiting all night. I am going to die. I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah? I'm going to go into cardiac arrest. Like, I can't wait any longer. Are you, are you anything actually dumb? Are you skunked? Like, I can't wait any longer. So she's like, cool. My friend's like, knock on the door. So I knock on the door. Auntie! Hello? Hello, uncle? Auntie? I don't know, like, his mom's house, his dad's house. I don't know who's here, you know? Understand? I'm knocking, I'm knocking. Hello? 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 So cool. Someone comes out. It's a little girl. Yeah? She comes out. She's a little girl. Um, she looks about well, maybe pfft, maybe 12, cool. She's like, hi, um, um, can I help you? And I'm like, what is your mum in? So anyway, cut a long story short, about 10 minutes later, our mum pulls up in a robe. She pulls up in a robe. She's like, hi. And I'm like, hi, auntie. And then I basically say, do you mind if I talk to you? Literally, I give the whole spiel about her son. Have he's got my car and all this and all that. And she's like, oh, me, I don't know anything about this. Ah, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I don't know anything about this. Ah, so you say my son has your, your car. And then she goes, you know, let me call him. Like I haven't tried that. But you never know because he might have blocked me. I doubt it because I use my sister's phone. But you never know. So auntie calls him. Same thing. It's going to voicemail. I, and then she's she's like she's a bit stressed. She's like, oh, she she starts to worry that he's not okay. So she's just like, oh, oh my god, like so she starts calling like her her like family friends or like her friends or anyway. She just, just starts calling around, seeing if they've seen him. Nothing. I'm outside waiting. Nothing. <sighs> she's calling people. No one's seen him. No one knows where he is. She's not telling them why she's looking for him. She just says she's looking for my man. Cool. So then she says, write your number down, your name down. I will contact you when he contacts me. Um, and how, like, don't worry, sweetheart. I'll help you sort this out. But, guys, I've already been down this rodeo. I've already done this. I've already... I, 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 I have the... Like, what do you call it? Like, I bought the T-shirt. What, what's that saying? Got the T-shirt. One worn it. Like, I've done that. I've been here, bro. I've really gone to parents' house. They don't really help. It doesn't help. Do you understand? It just doesn't help. So, I go home. I don't know what else to do. All I can do is ring this brother, ring this brother, or go to his parents' house. What can I do? What can I actually do? At this point, I've messaged everyone on Instagram, including him. So I just have to wait. I just have to wait. Eventually, eventually, I get a phone call from private number. Bring! I pick it up. Yo. Yo, you alright, babe? <laughs> Am I okay? It is you who should be, you should, I should be asking that question. Are you alright? Are you actually alright in the head? Where is my car? And I, like, what are we doing here? Like, what are we talking about? What, am I alright? Where is my car? And he just said, your babe's like, like, chill out, like, I'm, like, give me, like, I've had a heart, like, I've had, like, a hard 24 hours, ah? Huh? I've had, a, I've had, a, I've had a stressful day, ah? Huh? I'm stressed, ah? Huh? I mean, you know what? I didn't record this part of the conversation, but I recorded the second conversation we had because it was paramount. So this boy's chatting ass. I'm like, where is the car? And it goes, your car is calm, your car is safe. So I'm like, is it? Yeah, but you said you're gonna um, return my car at 10 p.m. yesterday. Babies, don't worry, it's calm in it, everything's all right. I just need it for a bit longer. But did I, but did I tell you you could have it for longer though? Where is my car? And he's like, I just, I just want it for a bit longer. I never said you could have it for longer, it's not your car. Where is my car? Send me the Addy, I'm gonna come pick up my effing car. Where is the Addy? Give me my black lot car. So he's just like, babes, babes, chill out, man. I'm gonna call you back when you calm down. Literally, he had the audacity to tell me he's gonna call me back when, he, when he's calmed down. So I was like, where is my car? Where is it? Nothing. I'm gonna call you back. This guy hangs up on me. I can't call back, it's on private number. At this point, I'm seeing red, <laughs> yeah? Burgundy, forget red, I'm seeing burgundy. Hmm, okay. So now I'm flipping out and I'm crying and I'm really stressed out because now I'm thinking, 
I'm never getting my car back. I don't know what's happened to my car. I don't know what's happened to my car. My car is gone. Like, my car is gone. Um, what am I going to tell my sisters? Um, when am I going to get another six grand to buy them a new one? Yeah, like, I'm pissed. Yep. I've really effed up. I've really, 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 really effed up. So, I'm stressing, I'm crying, I'm hyperventilating, I'm having a heart attack, I'm going into cardiac arrest. All at the same time, and then I get a phone call on private number. Meanwhile, I'm thinking it's my man. All I hear is a white person's, like, I'm not gonna lie, I heard a white nicker's voice on the phone. Like, hello? And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, hello? And he's like, hello, uh, is this, uh, Miss Lonnie? Like, you know, that kind of voice, like a posh, like, voice. And I'm thinking, what? Like, I'm like, yeah, what's up? And then he's just like, this is the police. I said, put it, <laughs> me. I said, hey, we're not the police. Is that, yeah, this is the police. And I can't, like, I'm really in shock. Like, I'm really, really, really in shock. So anyway, they just basically said that I need to go down to um, the station. Period. And I said, in regards to what? And they said, you need to come down to the station in regards, um, in regards to the accident that happened last night. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. You need to come here. We have um, retained your car. You need to come to the station. Really? Really? So this mother stupid boy, this mother stupid boy couldn't even tell me that he didn't have the car. The car was in his position and there was an accident. Because he didn't tell me that. He forgot to 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 to, to open his thinking mouth and mention that. So I like <laughs> like what are we doing here? What are we doing here? So what I do is obviously I can't get free to the boy. So something told me, go on Instagram and call him on Instagram. Nothing happened. So I'm thinking, what about a snap? Yeah, what about a snap? I'm ringing, ringing, ringing. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. So, cool. I start getting ready for, to go to the police station. Like, not like, not proper ready, but like, you know, put a wig on and all of that. Anyway, I get, I start getting um, a call on snap. This is what I recorded. Because I thought, like, I didn't know... I don't know what kind of lies this person was gonna tell me, and I thought I'm definitely recording this for the feds, because I don't, I don't, I don't know if my man had drugs in the car. I don't know if he had. I don't know what he had. I don't know if he had whaps in the car. I don't know what the, the guy had. So I'm definitely like gonna like cover like all ground. So I thought I'm recording this combo. So um, I basically said, so is my car at the police station? And he's just waffling. He's just waffling. Eventually, it's like he's just waffling like like ah oh, babes ah oh, babes like and then i'm like what do you mean ah oh, babes is my car in the police station and he's like babes babes like listen 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 get me like don't be disappointed in me i said what so we're going back and forth i'm losing it like my voice is literally at the top of my mother mother effing lungs i'm losing it this stupid baboon the fool can't even tell me that he crashed my car are you actually skunked so you can pick up phones yeah you know how to pick up a phone yeah what's up what do you mean what's up you were meant to return my car yesterday where is my car where is it honey calm down man. calm down okay okay i'm gonna calm down i'm gonna calm down i'm gonna calm down where where's my car when want to bring it is it? I, I'm You're gonna bring it to me, yeah? Is it a hundred percent in good condition? That's what I want to know. When you have my car, so now you have my car. Is it in the same condition you had it when I gave it to you? Is it in the same black color condition? Is it? So why have the feds called me then? What? Why? Why have the feds called me then? What do you mean they've called you? The feds have called me. What's, because of you! What's, what's that got to do with me? What do you mean? Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? Why have the feds called me? Why have the feds bro, called bro, me? I don't, bro, I don't know. Where is my car? I've got I want to go when I see you. When I see you, dickhead! Yo, yo. Do you think I'm a dickhead? Ask me a question. 
Do you think I'm a dickhead? No, I can't hear anything you're saying. Do you think I'm a dickhead? Answer a black girl question. No. What? Bro, what you when I see you, when I see you, yeah, because you crashed my car. You think I'm stupid? What was you doing in my car? Explain yourself. Explain. Explain yourself. What were you doing in my car? What? Were you selling things in there that you weren't, shouldn't be selling? You said it was for your birthday. What were you selling in my car? Explain yourself. Speak. Open your mouth. Open it. Open your mouth. Open it. You know I'm not on that. What were you selling in my car? What were you selling in my car? I huh? I weren't selling nothing. Eh? Yes, you were. I weren't. Yes, you were. I clicked. I clicked. I clicked the card in there and then. Yeah, I swam into the wall. Like, I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna slow it. I'm gonna slow it. So you crashed my car. I went. I crashed it. it, it hit I thought you said you're a good driver. What happened to that? So you, you just chat, you just chat nonsense. So you had my car, you had my car for five minutes and you crash it. You had my car for five blood clock minutes and you crash it. You had my car for five minutes, useless boy, useless boy. That's why you have no bread because you're stupid. Your your brain is not connected because you're stupid. You're thick. That's why you have no money. You're a loser. That's why you beg women for cars. You never ever. You ain't got money. You ain't got money. You haven't got no money. You're brokey. You're brokey. You're brokey. You're brokey. Man, fuck you. Fuck you. How dare you crash my car? I tried to be nice to you, prick. You're prick. You're prick. You're prick. Yeah. Hung up. Fucking do it. Are you actually skunked? I'm screaming, top of my lungs, losing it. Cool. Conversation is deaded. Drive to the police station. When I got there, it wasn't that complicated. They just wanted to ask me if I was driving the car, all of a sudden the third. And then they basically said, like, that it wasn't in a condition to drive and whatever I could. Cut long story short, I just had to fill in some forms, say I wasn't the person driving. And I had to prove that it was me. And then they could give me the car back, but the car needed to be fixed. So what happened is I called a mechanic. Because they had to take it to, like, a... um what do you call it to a garage so to take it and put it like on one of them vans or whatever you call it um i think it cost me like four bills so they did that took the car um to get fixed in the garage and they said they'll they'll build me later like cool so we've got this is the point we've got to in the story so now all i have to deal with this bomber club this brokey like because who's paying for the bill like so at least the car wasn't written off that's all i knew but like who's paying for the bill guys i hope you don't think it ends there it does it it definitely doesn't so i need to know from my man what happened last night i need to know from my man all i'm hearing is that after my man got drunk him and his boys needed more alcohol so they got into the whip and um they saw feds panicked um lo lost control of a car hit a pole um jumped out and just ran off so the police just seized the car there was no one in the car at the time in my head i'm thinking i'm just gonna have to pay for the car and everything will be cushy but that isn't actually the case this became a this became a um criminal matter but the funny thing the funny part of this is that because there was there wasn't my like um identity in the car there wasn't my dna or my saliva or whatever or i wasn't on the cctv and all this kind of stuff i wasn't really involved in the criminal um part of it like i actually i haven't got much to say on it um all i know is that um the police asked me who i handed the car to i told them and that was it that was it that was the end for me um as time went on um I, i'm not saying I'm, i was i was cool with this person but as time went on um they basically and we became we weren't close but we spoke about the, the, the court case um yeah as time went on like it was very clear that they were going court for whatever they were doing in my car can you imagine they were going court for whatever they were doing in my car or the car crash i don't know i don't know if dangerous driving is illegal like i, I sound so dumb is it illegal point is they went to court 
and um, had to deal with the anxiety of, of all of that. Him and his um, him and his friends, um, they actually bust case, so they never went to jail for it or anything like that or whatever. Or had to pay a fine. But it was lingering and it was like, was it really worth it though? Was it really worth it? Was it was it worth you catching a case and having to go to court because you wanted to drive like a lunatic? Like, was it really worth it? And then I got the bill. I got the bill and um, the bill to fix the car was like two and a half grand. It was like, it was really bad. Um, and I forced my man um, to pay. He couldn't pay all of it, but he contributed about a grand towards it. But I had to fork out £1,500 to fix the car it was just hell it was literally hell like it was literally hell um, and if you're gonna learn anything from this experience like don't trust human beings like don't trust them and don't do big favours for people things that you can't afford like um, that I'm, so, I'm guys I'm telling you this is the last era of mine like being being I don't know if I can tell I was being too nice or I was being stupid I think I was being stupid but I'm just letting you know guys like when this happened like I let this guy I like I let this guy have it I'm, I'm gonna let you know like I let this guy have it so me and this guy ended up meeting up because he wanted to apologize and to take me to dinner so we met up because i wanted the damn apology because you owe me an apology you do so we met up this is months later like five months later we met up to talk about what he did but there was no dinner he was just basically saying oh do you mind if we skip dinner Our man's busy and i said you're not busy like he was like, i have to be somewhere by eight and i was just like that's bs you don't have to be anywhere you just can't afford it and it just goes like listen don't make fun of my circumstances so anyway i'm just thinking like you're just such a bum such a useless guy like i was so angry bum you're just a useless guy all this and the, and the third and at the time when we were talking we were in um we were in info town I, I he had met me because i was in the shops he had met me whatever and we were walking towards my car so then i'm thinking hold on a minute so do you think you're gonna get in my car and we're gonna this is like my mercedes not the other car do you think we're gonna get in my car and drive around like and you was like you're gonna apologize to me you haven't brought flowers you haven't bought simple simple common flowers to apologize to me you haven't brought nothing to make it up to me you just met up with me to talk what have you actually brought you haven't even bought teddy bear you haven't bought nothing useless boy what have you bought what have you bought to show that you're sorry you're not sorry you haven't brought anything you have come here empty-handed you're not sorry there's no flowers there's nothing there's no dinner what are you talking about you're not sorry you're a liar you're like you're a dumbass nigga like that's 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 the truth you're a dumbass nigga you're a waste man what are you talking about where's the flowers you don't have to apologize when you mess up like what we're we talking about you are a waste man how can you come here empty-handed so anyway it just clicked in me like i had to have the common sense of the common sense and i told this guy like actually like duck out like you think i'm gonna like actually drive you around and me and you're gonna go get me and you're gonna go to McDonald's like we used to or we're gonna chill in my car and have giggles and listen to music we're not finna do that we're not we're not so I just said to him I'm not taking you nowhere you better jump on the bus rude boy and he was just like Lani why what would you mean and he goes you better jump on the bus rude boy and he was just like oh fuck you he actually said fuck you to me can you imagine after everything I did for him and let me tell you, tell you something guys I had a water in my hand bro I got that I I opened um, the lid of that bottle and I dashed bare water on this guy. Dashed him and I started hitting him with the um, bottle. I was hitting him with the bottle, yeah, and he was just laughing at me, taunting me. And I just basically said, never ever in your effing life ever speak to me again, you understand? And I got in my car and I left and that's on period per. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story time and I hope that you guys learned from my silly mistakes, okay? Until the next video! until the next video okay love you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed that story time and i hope you also learnt from my stupid stupid mistakes man bye omg baby <laughs>